the atoms. What has two hands but cannot clap? Once upon a time, the king and queen had a beautiful daughter, Princess Flowers. One day, an evil, nasty dragon named Wilson kidnapped Princess Flowers and took her down into the Dungeon of Riddles. The king and queen declared that any brave knight who returns the princess will have her hand in marriage. Many brave knights did not come back. All hope of seeing the princess again was lost until Sir Bravio, Sir Bravio, the bravest of all the knights and very handsome, appeared. I shall slay Wilson and bring back Princess Flowers. Figures, my shield. Here, sir. Good boy. Now stay. Uh, sir? What is it, sardines? Shouldn't you take the backpack? It has food, torches, maps, rope, even a book of riddles. <laughs> a knight does not wear a silly backpack. Silly is your job. But sir, the riddles... Look, sardines. Why don't you keep an eye on the clock and see how fast I am? I'll be back before sundown. The sun went down, and Sir Bravio... Sir Bravio! Did not come back. Sardines worried. Oh, maybe I should have followed him. What if he's lost, hungry, or worse, dirty? Oh, sardines ran after his master. Hello? Sir Bravio? Sir Bravio, is that you? A large, furry figure with a glowing staff appeared and spoke. Another hero dares to enter the Dungeon of Riddles? Uh, uh, no, no, I'm not a hero. I just wanted to take a quick look around for my master. He's the amazing hero. Is that okay? You'll have to answer my riddle correctly to enter. Uh, and if I answer incorrectly? Oh, you'll still enter. <laughs> but you'll meet the beastie thingy. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I actually kind of like riddles. We know when I was... What? Has two hands, but cannot clap. That's easy. A clock. Uh, correct. <laughs> does, does anyone get that one wrong? <sighs> no. Well, except for that last night. That good-looking night. Wait. Good looking night? What? What night? And you solved the riddle. Tap here to go to the next level. Was this fun? Then you should subscribe by tapping here. And be sure to check out other fun stories by Trudin's author, E.B. Adams.